Hey everybody, Pete here. Welcome back to Binge Work Media. In this video, we're going to dive into a Squarespace tutorial. This is one of the most beautiful website builders as far as templates are concerned, and it's still pretty easy to use. So I'm gonna do a simple templated website builder. I'm gonna show you the different elements and features so that, that way you feel comfortable and being able to use the, this website builder to grow your business online. So let's go ahead and get into it. I already have an account with Squarespace. So simply all you need to do is just click get started, create an account. Uh, I signed up with my email and you can do the same. Okay. Now I will say that in order to use this, there is a 14 day free trial. It is a paid website builder. So you definitely need uh, to consider that um, when, you know, cho choosing Squarespace as an option, but guess what? It's really affordable. I think coming in, um, starting at around $12 a month. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, and it goes up from there, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and press get started. It's going to bring me into the back end here. Okay. I'm not using a blank template and let me just scroll down here. Uh, let's see here. All right. This is good. All right. So we'll use this one. Okay. Cause I want more of a a service oriented style website and stuff like that. All right. So I'm going to do, um, just kind of give it a name. All right, there we go. And then it, let's see here. It's going to show us how to edit pages. So you'll just click on a page and then you'll click the edit button up here. Okay. Then you can edit the page and then you just create pages. You can just click the pages there, click the plus button and you can add your pages. And then let's see what else it has here. So it has style style guide all the way on the right. If you click this kind of paintbrush thing over here, so let's go ahead and get started. And it looks like it has some step-by-step -step tutorials that it, you can use as well here. They do have one of the most extensive knowledge bases as well. Um, so that's really cool if you ever get stuck with Squarespace. So here we are on the homepage and here's the navigation menu right here. So if I were just to click on the edit button, I would be now actually able to edit this. Okay. So we're not going to do anything on this yet. Okay. I'm not touching this at all. Right. Then here are the different, the navigation pages. So if I just clicked on the blog here, right, you can see that, um, it will go to all of the different pages. So, uh, let me just see here. Uh, interesting. All right. So I'm going to go to pages and I'm going to go to the home page because for some reason it's not showing up inside of the navigation. Um, and I think we want that. So let me actually see. Yeah, that should be right there. So then that'll, that'll come up right there. Yeah. So I don't know why that wasn't linked, but we want the home page to be uh, right there. Okay. So people can get back home. All right. So here are all of your pages. Okay. And you can come in here and you can change any one of these, uh, based on how you want to make the changes. And we're going to get into that in just a moment. All right. So let me go ahead and click on edit here. All right. So the very first part is this edit header here. Now, I don't believe you can change any of the words or text or any of that. Uh, some of this stuff is kind of static in the back end, but however, what you can change is you can change. So you can add a logo if you wanted to. So you would just click there at an image or drag over an image. You would do the same thing here. Okay. All right. Elements and styles. So you can add social links if you want to. Um, and you can see the social icons will show up right there. So I actually kind of like those. I'm not going to put anything there for now, but, uh, and then you can edit which link. So you'll click on this and you'll actually put your link there for now. It's just going to be Squarespace. Um, let's see here. You can, ch uh, change the icon size if you want to, just to make those stand out, but really we don't want people leaving the website now that once they got here. All right. And then you can actually switch the languages, right? So you can actually do that inside of the language settings, which is really awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. All right. And I'm going to actually click off of this section. Okay. All right, so now if I want to make changes here, I can't just click necessarily in here. I actually have to click on the edit section here and the section height, you can actually change the size of it. Okay, so I'm going to go to large because I believe that's what it was before. You can actually change the background colors. If there was colors back here, you can actually change the overlap overlay if you wanted to as well. Okay. I'm going to bring that back down here. Um, in case you had like, you wanted these words to pop out a little bit more, you can actually just 
kind of do something like that. Um, and then we can actually change the color here. Okay, so we can change that color pattern here on the very top. So if I go back to the format options here and I also click on, okay, so I clicked on this here. Oh, okay, that just, okay. So it brings it all the way over to 80. So what I wanna do is I wanna just click on large and leave it there. All right, so uh, content width, right? So this increases the size of your, your content, okay? Um, this chooses where you want your content to be aligned. So we'll keep it in the middle. And also this basically where it t has where you want to put, keep or align your content from left to right. All right. So I'll just keep it all the way on the left, right? We can add videos here or we can add other art here, make it just kind of be like an artwork or something like that. Or you can do a video, right? So if you have a video that you can upload, you can actually put that there, there. But we're going to actually just kind of rock with the image, okay? So that's how you change that stuff. Now, another thing up here in this section is the duplicate button. So essentially, we have two of those sections now, and that's too many. So we're going to go ahead and hit that red trash can and delete it, okay? Fantastic. So now, I know that I'm moving a little bit fast, but I really want to show you how easy this website builder is and um, how you could actually go through this as well. All right. So now you, you so now if you want to change the words in this section, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to hover above the words and you'll see this box pop up. Right. You can't just click any. I did say, yeah, if you click anywhere outside of here, then the only way to edit the section would be up here with the pencil. But to edit the words, you just come in here and you can edit the words. All right. So then. One of the things that you can come in here and do is you can actually change the color, okay? You can actually change the color if you want to. I'll keep it as white. You can actually do a custom color if you wanted to. You can actually change the heading size if you wanted to as well here. You should know how to use this pretty well, okay? Then we have a chat with me feature, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that. Okay, so this is a page where it says, uh, takes you to the get started page, okay? So this is, this is a page. The way that you link a page is by highlighting. Yeah, I would highlight the entire thing, right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and click this here. There's a couple of ways that you can do this. You can send it to an email, a website address. So you could do, we don't know the website address yet because we don't have a domain attached to this, but you can actually go to a different website address too, if you wanted to all together and then, or you can go to a page. So if I was to click off of this page, uh, give me a second. Interesting. I'm going to click off of this. Okay. So that's still there. So if you mess up, you know, that's still there. So get started is, is still there. Okay. All right. Fantastic. So then if we move down to the next section, all right, the same thing, if we want to edit any like this purple color or anything else like that, we can come in here and we can edit that color. All right. So make that pop a little bit more like that since the top is already purple. Same thing. We can change all that. If we wanted to change the image. We click on the image. Then we come over to the pencil, right? And then we can, you know, uh, replace the image here. We can edit the image here. Um, essentially, you know, make it a little bit more sharper. Oh, that actually looked good right off the bat. Look at our hair. All right. And then maybe the brightness. Okay. Contrast, you know, kind of all that stuff. And then if you wanted to, you can just go ahead and save the image here. It'll go ahead and update here. Okay. Or you can just come in here. Uh, you can make a design or what you could do is, uh, you could, you know, remove the, remove this all together. Okay. Delete it. All right. So then let's go ahead and click off of this. Uh, let's see here. All right. Fantastic. So I just had to hit the X gate button twice cause it wasn't actually going away. Um, so same thing. You just click here. You can make your changes, the learn more button. Okay. Um, Oh, okay. Fantastic. So this learn more button, um, you can actually change the page and where it's going to go to. It looks like it's going to you. Okay. So I'm just going to click off of that for now. And it's the exact same thing, right? It's the exact same thing. So your newsletter, I will just click on the pencil here and for your newsletter, you have the design, you have the storage, you can connect your email right to a mailing list, right? And that's something that happens outside of the website, right? So if you have a store, there's a back end where you set up your products, your different categories for your products, the shipping and everything else like that. If you have services, 
you do need to already be signed up for the 14 day trial because they link directly to a payment processor. Um, so you're going to set up all of your services in the back end of this website. And then for, so you've got products, services, and there seems to be another thing that I'm blanking on right now. And if I scroll up, I should be able to tell you what that is. All right. So I'm going to hit done here for this first page. Essentially, that's how you edit every single page. Okay. Um, if I go to this you page, you know, kind of, you know, basically the exact same thing. Um, the blog. So this is actually pretty, this is different. So I've never actually worked with this particular blog before. Okay. But one of the cool things is let me actually deselect this. So it should bring me back. Let me just click this, right? So I can edit this here, right? I can't edit this here, but I can edit the background. I can edit the colors and everything else like that, right? So it looks like these blogs are automatically populated. So if I wanted to create a blog, I would just do it like that. I would post the title test blog blob <laughs> blog. Here's my article. All right, so now that that's done, I'll go ahead and click this edit pencil. I'll leave that alone. Um, okay, uh, give me just a second here. Um, I'm going to click done. All right, I'm going to pl click publish. Done. All right, and then I'm going to deselect this. And now you have a test blog here. However, we would go to settings and we would add our featured image here, right? So that that way it shows up there. Okay. And we can also add an excerpt about that. Um, and any, anything else that we, we feel like we want to add, we can add it right there so that then we, we, we get all this information that pops up here. All right. So that is your blog, all right? Let me go ahead and go back. Everything else is pretty similar. Here's what I wanted to do. So, Okay, so if you have a store, you're going to need to set that up outside of this website. Uh, what you're selling. Um, so I would say not selling yet. Um, we'll just say that you're selling, yeah, shoes and accessories. Um, we'll just say up to 10 products and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so yeah, so you can add your products to sell. You can add the ways to get paid. But okay, so it looks like you do need to be on a subscription for this as well. Okay. All right. So you need to be on a subscription for this, right? The e-commerce plans are higher than just the regular website template. Okay. So I'm going to actually close out of this. It looks like we are um, in where you would add the products now. So since we're outside of the website and it took us out, what I'm going to do. Okay. Oh, awesome. They have a place for print on demand too. So what you can essentially link this to Printful. Is there anywhere else that you can link this to? No. So that's pretty cool that they allow you guys to um, do print on demand here as well. Um, so this is the section where you come through and you set up everything for your store. So bank accounts, your business information, all that kind of stuff. You're going to do it right here. And what I would do is I would just kind of go through every single one of these and just follow the directions. Okay. If I clicked on every single one of these, of course, I'd get better watch time for this video, but I don't want to do that because it's simply just going through this and filling in the information for your store. If you have any trouble, reach out to me. All right. So then I'm going to go over to scheduling. Okay. That's new. See the scheduling. They want you to, I believe, be on a payment plan to begin with. Yeah, they do. So. Yep. So I can't actually show you that now. I don't want to actually set up. I don't want to sign up for a free trial, but you would just go in there and you would, you know, set up your, uh, your, your appointments. All right. So that's it right now. I can also show you marketing as well. Um, it looks like they let you do some SEO, uh, location management, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can do promotional pop-ups. You can do announcement bars and you can do promotional, you can do promotions. Okay. Um, and you can also send out email campaigns as well. So that's very cool. So here's what I'm going to do. So since we're back here on the website, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to pay. Actually, another thing is I would say go into settings 
fill out or go through all this stuff and fill out all this information as well. Okay. Anything that you want to connect to this website, business information, all that kind of stuff, put it on, put it on, put it in here. Okay. And then, um, you can also do analytics if you want to, let's see. Okay. They have their own analytics. I love it. Right. Um, amazing. So they have abandoned cart. So I wonder if they have an abandoned cart sequence. Yeah. It's a previous, it's a, um, it's a premium feature. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. And then I'm going to just take a look here. Anything else? Okay. There's nothing else on that particular section that I want to take a look at. If I click on profiles, what do we have here? So profiles is kind of their email uh, kind of, you know, list. So now what I'm going to do is go back to the website. Now let's say that um, I love this website. Okay. This is what I wanted to, to go with from beginning to end. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come, uh, let's see here. Yeah, we don't need that. We don't need this down here cause we're not a store. Um, so, okay. So it is the blog is published. Let me go home. Okay. Let me just scroll down to the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click. Okay, so that's what that looks like there. All right, so this is not where you obviously publish the website. I'm trying to figure that out right now. Um, so I'm gonna click on this right here. Okay, and then binge work funnels, and then website. So apparently the way that you actually publish this is to subscribe, right? Okay, so it does look like they went up to about $14 a month now. Uh, if you pay monthly, it's $19 a month, okay? So it does look like they went up, all right? I thought they were around 12, but still, uh, it's pretty decent. You can come in here and you can check out the different prices and everything else like that. So there we go. I've showed you Squarespace. I'm sure there's more in-depth tutorials about building this step-by-step, -step, but it is a simple builder, and I have faith that you will be able to get through this. Again, if you have any questions, reach out to me. And as always, I will see you next time.